Okay, since I got my new truck and put lights in it, I've had a lot of people ask me about the truck uh, and the emergency lights that I'm putting in it. It's a 2014 Dodge Ram uh, Lar uh, Laramie Edition. As you can see in a metallic red. It finally stopped snowing enough that I could actually get it washed and uh, get everything cleaned up. Uh, it did come prepped with the fifth wheel and gooseneck groups, uh, including the uh, electrical stuff for the in the bed. I bought a Retrax tonneau cover. It's a retractable tonneau cover. It goes up into a roll up at the front of the bed. I lose about 11 inches on the front of the bed uh, with the exception of about the bottom 8 or 10 inches. Uh, it is lockable. I can put 200 pounds of weight on top of the tonneau cover if I need to. Uh, it will also secure in any position along the rails. Uh, I don't have it on it today, uh, but I did also buy a Snow X HD plow to go on the front of it. And that has put all kinds of snow out of the way this last winter. Uh, you'll see there are two dual band uh, search and rescue antennas for the fire department radio and also for the amateur radio. Alright, this is going to be mode one, uh, which is all lower level body lighting. Uh, in the grill I have two Phoenix 400 light sticks. Uh, they are dual color, red and white. You only see red right now. I also bought rocker panels in red yellow and then not the only non phoenix light oh i take that back this is a uh strobes and more tailgater and it fits very nicely up underneath the tailgate did you even notice it was there the last time around uh, this one is red blue warning it does have a white work light as well there's the other rocker panel in the shade This is mode two where I add in the upper level lighting. Uh, Phoenix interior light bar, again red white, you only see red right at the moment. The rocker panel in the same flash pattern. You're also going to notice a under the mirror light. And there's also a light on top of the tonneau cover where it rolls up. Again, this is mode one, so this would be parked on scene, mixed red, yellow. And there's the other under the mirror light. The sun is very bright today. It's finally a uh, decent temperature. Uh, but you can see that the red visor light still does punch through the sunshine pretty well. So the last two times around the truck were mode one on the light bars, uh, even though I have the visor light split separate from the grill. Uh, this would be mode two on the light. So for the Phoenix 400 light sticks and the interior bar on the front, they're red white. I uh, went with a much more aggressive pattern trying to clear traffic. You'll see the under mirror light is now also a red white. I also changed the pattern up on the rocker panel. The rear warning is a little bit more aggressive above the tonneau cover. The tailgater only has the one mode for emergency. And it's daytime, but you can see that I do have 180 degrees on my under the mirror light. And you can see the rocker panel a little bit better over here in the shade. And if you look closely, I also invested in the Z-Flash for the Dodge Ram. Uh, that 
I have right now just on back and forth on the tail lights, the turn signals, and the fog lights. So the Z flash on the tail lights. It will also flash the reverse lights. I just don't like white warning lights to the back. I think I've got plenty of lighting back here. I don't need whites blinding people. And controlling this mess, I bought the Phoenix 4200 light controller. Tucked very nicely down into this little cargo space. Um, did not really use that for anything uh, previously anyway. Um, let's talk about the uh, mode one. It's just a regular position switch. Same thing with two and three. Uh, I have my siren controls over here, air horn, a manual. Now I do have controls for the aero stick. I'm going to turn that onto a center out so you can see the, the aero stick. I also have left, takedown, and right alley light set up. And then I also have this work light on the back. And here's a close up of the center out on the aero stick. Uh, the back of my truck does stick up quite high, so. Once people get close to my truck, they're not going to see that, but if they're off a ways, it'll work out really nice for them. So the emergency response lights are turned off right now. I'm just doing the white work lights. Uh, the front takedown, I did hook up to both the grill and visor light. I may end up taking the visor light out after I have a chance to use it at night a few times. Uh, but it will take over the emergency. If I turn on the takedown, the emergency lights will go away. The under the mirror light, I have to disable that response mode 2 in order to get an alley light uh, as part of the controlling, uh, the way the controller works and the way these particular light heads work. Um, I'm not thrilled about that, but they're not a Phoenix light. Um, I will get the make and model and put them in here. And then the, the strobing that you're seeing on the video is purely shutter speed. Uh, if I come down here low, it should steady out pretty good. That little flicker you get is just the shutter speed on the camera. It is a nice white, uh, steady white light. Here is the other alley. All right, and back to the controller. Uh, so you see, I've got up like the center out, and my work lights are all turned on. The way the 4200 works is you control these buttons to turn on different outputs from the uh, interface box, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, and basically I can tell any button to enable different outputs or all the outputs, and I can also tell it to turn off other buttons. So if I go from a center out to a right arrow, it disables that, and then my bar is on a right arrow only. Uh, same thing if I go left arrow. Uh, the other thing is, I can do the siren tones, and you notice it turns off the previous one going. Uh, they are the uh, Phoenix, so I did get the Phoenix Storm Pro the 100 that does have uh, the Phoenix siren tones. I'm not; they're not the greatest siren tones. I don't like the sound of them, uh, the greatest, but I like the controller, um, and it worked really well with that. Uh, one thing I did do is I did control one button to shut off all of my lights. So it shuts off all my buttons. If I have the position switch on, I can push this all day long and it doesn't affect that. So anything that you do on the position switch is only on the position switch. I also have installed a commercial dual band radio for an analog system that I have here. And then I also have a Kenwood D710 amateur radio installed. The uh, radio heads are here. I have a microphone there, one here. Uh, I'll tell you, if you've never used them before, the magnetic mic clips are worth every penny. They're very handy. Um, I just basically get the, get the microphone close when I'm done talking on it, and I don't have to try to slide it into the lock. It just, it just catches it, and away you go. All right, let's look at the install. So on the 14 Laramie, uh, the back seat does have these cargo uh, flats that you can flop out. Uh, works great for my dogs. Uh, they don't, they're not falling all over the place and it does do both sides. Um, so that works out great. But there is enough room underneath here for a power distribution block. Uh, so everything is on ignition sense. When I shut my truck off, everything shuts off. 
Uh, right next to it is the controller for the 4200. Uh, the wires are kind of on top of it, so it's hard to see. Uh, look it up on the website. You can see a much better picture of it. Uh, you can see the LED st status light back there flashing. Uh, again, that loses power if I shut the ignition off. Now you'll see there's all these wires that are coming out of here. Uh, each one of those goes to an individual light bar uh, with the exception of the two in the grill and the rocker panels. They're wired together. But I, I put the light bar in whatever one of these outputs you want to be whatever you want and then you tell the con you program the control head to say activate this output. Uh, kind of hard to see um, but back here underneath all these other wires are a couple of black radio bodies. So those are the actual radio bodies of so the radios that I've installed. Uh, I did get the PowerWorks 750X. I love that radio. Uh, it's a, a bit of a deep sound. Um, I'm used to Kenwood radios myself. For the amateur world, they have a nice crisp sound. The PowerWorks is a little bit more of a dull sound, uh, but it does work. It gets the job done. Uh, I'll let you do the research on the price. And again, it's an analog radio. It is a commercial radio, but it's an analog radio.